Well friends, we're back. It's a glorious afternoon and we were just on a walk and we would like to respond to a question that we got from one of our very faithful viewers about end of life care at the community, which of course is our journey now with Chris's dad, um, who has been battling cancer for quite a few years now and is approaching the end of his life. And so we wanted to just talk about um, that journey while it's very private. Um, it's also something that is filling our days and lives right now. And we wanted to just welcome you in um, and, and talk a little bit about that. You could turn it into a drinking game if you want. Every time Naran or I say journey, <laughs> have a, you know, a mint tea on us. Your dad would <laughs> No, he may not. Look, obviously, uh, um, talking about the end of life, talking about death is not something most of us wake up in the morning really keen to do. But as we all know, along with taxes, it's inevitable. Yes. Each one of yep. us is mortal. Maybe you is the one exception. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> You're very angelic. Uh, <laughs> When, you know, when I sat down this morning and said to my mother, Mom, we're gonna, we want to do a little video about Dad's journey and about yeah. end-of-life care. Yeah. How do you feel about that? Her first response was, you know, the way we do it on the community may seem really, um, can seem unique uh, in this day and age, but it's actually the way that for centuries people cared for each other. Right. And that was precisely the thought that you and I were discussing, yeah. is that the fact that we're... Um, blessed to be able to care for my dad in his final days within it, within his home and within his community is a huge privilege. But there's also something um, very normal about it. And of course, in many cultures around the world, that still is the norm. Yeah. Um, obviously, we, we totally understand that it's not something that every family is, is placed to be able to yeah. do and to provide. And we're thankful for the care systems that are in place, you know, the many people who dedicate themselves to caring for people. Um, as their lives draw to a close. But for us, um, we can't imagine doing this any other way. Our journey right now is um, to be right by dad and mom and support them. Journey. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going, sorry. <laughs> Keep going. Um, and it's an amazing gift to go home at home. Mm. And that is something that um, means the world to dad and mom, that they can be together in their house um, with the best care without having to relocate they're with sure. their 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 friends and and the family and it's so beautiful to be just part of the daily um care for dad yeah and and also to look after the visitors that come to see him many of his dear friends are coming to farewell yeah. him i think it was almost six years ago now yeah my dad was diagnosed with cancer and he and my mother lived in australia um, alongside us at the danthony Brudoff community at that point um, and then in order to um, really give the best care we could for dad. He and mom moved up here to the United States in part because my brother and his wife um, are both um, excellent nurses and mm -hmm. were their neighbors and could be there to provide care as needed and to also see that dad got to all his health care appointments. So he, he put up an amazing fight over these last six years. He's had multiple surgeries, multiple rounds of chemo and other treatments, but it got to the point where the specialist told him, there's really nothing more we can do. And that was a stage mm -hmm. then where he said, well, there is something I can do. And that's, I'm gonna go back to Australia and spend Christmas with Chris and Aran and the community down there. So in 2019, 2020, we had Christmas and New Year's together, unforgettable time. Amazing. Um, and it was also, you know, a real celebration um, of their love for the brothers and sisters of that particular community, the children, everyone rallied around. So much so that when we came up here just the other week, yeah. um, community members sent us off with a lot of uh, thankfulness that we could make the journey. And we're saying things like, you know, if, if family is going to support Jerry and Nancy, we should all be getting in the, in the yeah. car and the plane and going with you because yeah. we are all family. And, yeah. and that's the overriding experience for me um, is, is just feeling how um, my parents uh, through their faithfulness to this church community over the year, have won themselves this amazing extended family. Incredible. Um, and the care that comes with that, and of course this is, this is not unique to my parents, this is uh, something that we extend to all brothers and sisters and children within the community as needed. Each community has a healthcare team at the community, um, and they do a wonderful job of working alongside patients to make sure that the best and most appropriate care is provided. And the patient's and then, wishes are... Yeah, exactly. Um, when we're at a stage, as we are now with my dad, to make sure that his wishes are honored, um, that he, together with my mom, things are unfolding in the way that they want them to be. 
and, and that means at the moment with dad that we're all just doing what we can to make sure that he's comfortable, that, that he has everything that, that he wants, but most importantly that he's just surrounded by a lot of love and encouragement each day. Each day has been a bit of an adventure. Yep. Um, and it's, you know, it's, it's not always um, easy to watch somebody that, that you know and love uh, lose ground, um, yep. particularly when they're aware of their own, um, of those losses, losses as, as they experience them. Yeah. Uh, but dad is being an absolute soldier and is, you know, to my mind, a model of, of how you do this gracefully. Um, and, the, and the support team around. So it's not yeah. just healthcare. Uh, the, there's the, the, the laundry team um, who are just ever present um, in helping us keep dad's well, linen Thankfully, fresh. they're not ever yeah. present. They're, they're in yeah. the laundry, yeah. but they do their thing, yeah. right? And, and then the kitchen team is phenomenal. Um, either making meals for us to have at home or making um, dad's really into soup right now and, and just making things that he can enjoy, the flavors. It's, yeah. He's really loving things with flavor. And it's just, yeah, I, I get kind of emotional yeah. sometimes well, when, I, when know, I get to the kitchen. When I'm and I want to say, yeah. I wanna say, too, that, yeah. you know, we are a community yeah. that's all about life. life. Yeah. You know, <laughs> and that life begins at conception and it goes from cradle to grave. Um, and that's not just a turn of phrase. It, it's, it's realized, you see it in the, in the love that people have, and it comes to expression in the care of the children, in the care of moms and families, mm -hmm. and right through to the way that we can care for our, our oldest or our most hindered members um, through to the end of, end of life. And to my mind, that's, that's perhaps one of the, you know, the greatest gifts that a church community can provide is that all-encompassing, all of life, experience and, and we're, we're along for the ride at the moment but it's a very rich journey <laughs> and just because people love details the end of every day we're all piling on dad and mom's bed with the grandchildren and dad is getting a lot of peace and joy from singing so um we'll sing all kinds of songs and and end with a bit of a pray and everybody is is holding hands and there's laughter and there's yeah, there's the, the tears too, but it's just, yeah, it's an amazing thing to be a part of right now. <laughs> there's no script, okay? Yeah, no script. And we know that each one of you, you yeah. know, you also have unique circumstances in your lives. There's no script, but just keep on loving, keep powering through in that way. That's, that's, that's all we can encourage you. No, this, it's not a heavy trip for us. Yeah, um, no, not at all. It's, it's, it's an incredible insight into two lives that have been well lived and are being well lived that we actually get to kind of get a little window into yeah so, <laughs> so anyway just some thoughts yeah. glad to uh, connect with you all and stay safe and well and we will catch up again soon talk soon bye